everybody, it's Gamma Lad, and welcome back to Let's Play Stella Glow. In the last episode, we took down Dorothy and saved Sakuya and the entire um, Amatsu village, or that's what it was called, I forgot what the name of the town was. But anyway, we're now pretty much finishing up Chapter 3 and probably moving into Chapter 4, so let's see what awaits us now. Here we go, Chapter 4, A Lambert Holiday. Interesting. Oh, we have nothing but free time on our hands, okay. It's really pretty interesting. What a lovely morning. Yeah. Boo boo, wait! I said not not to run in the hall. What's that sound? Whoa! Ouch! 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 Alto! Okay, okay, I get it. Just get off my face. I can't breathe. Uh -huh. Hey, Boo Boo, get away from him. So, Boo Boo's actually making that noise? I thought this whole time it was just Popo making that noise. Aww. Interesting creature you have there. <sighs> you saved me. Sorry about that, Alto. It's okay. I've gotten used to nearly having a heart attack the moment I wake up. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. So, did you need something? Yeah, yeah, I have a message! The 9th Regiment needs to meet at their audience chamber as soon as possible! Alright, I'll head over now. Thanks for waking me up, Boo Boo. Bye. Popo, you should get ready too and leave Boo Boo in your room. Oh, okay! <laughs> I, yes, I guess that's a good Boo Boo, I guess. The audience chamber. I, Commander Klaus, and the other 8 members of the 9th Regiment have arrived. Th thank you for... Hmm? You there! You are the presence of royalty! Remove those bizarre... That bizarre headgear at once! What? This is... Um... Regnant M. Elmore, this is my shinobi. It is improper for her to expose her bare face. Therefore, I humbly request he pardon her appearance despite her, majesty, her majesty's presence. M my lady... Hmm... If this request comes from the priestess of Omatsu... Then I have no choice but to accept. Very well, raise your head. Th thank you so much. Well, then, your majesty, please go ahead. This is the first time I have stood before this group as, as it's currently composed. There are some familiar faces, but I shall introduce myself once again. I am Queen Anastasia of the, of the Holy Regnant Empi Kingdom. Empire Kingdom. Uh, same difference here, I'm assuming. What? She's so pretty! Popo, Popo, Sakuya, thank you for coming all the way here to Lambert. It would not be possible to undo Hilda's curse without your songs. Please, for the sake of this kingdom, lend us your powers. Thank you for the kind words. I shall fulfill my duties to the best of my ability, Your Majesty. I assume this is where Sakuya is probably doing her best to put on her, um, priestess impersonation. Popo, Popo will work hard too! We'll save everyone indeed! In need! Ew it, Nonika, I'm delighted to see we, we have gained two reliable assets, assets in the two of you. Please try your absolute hardest as members of the Life Regiment. <laughs> Leave it to me. The power of economics will, will, sa will save the world. Oh, okay, I shall devote my life. You are all unique, but you have come together to qu form quite a splendid group. The Life Regiment is blessed to have each and every one of you. It is all due to your majesty's guardianship. I surely hope that this is the case. Now then, Klaus, please enlighten your regiment of the details of the current situation. Yes, Your Majesty. This will be good. Currently, we have the Witches of Water, Fire, and Wind. Only one remain for our anthem. The Earth Witch. Yes. The Earth Witch once governed a certain city in the West. Hence, we were aware of her whereabouts, but a tragedy struck the city three years ago. Hmm. The Earth Witch passed away and her lineage ended. What? Then what can we do? The Royal Research Lab has confirmed there is one more qualia resonating in the kingdom. We have yet to pin down its location, but our survey team is searching all of, of Regnant. So that means we are on standby yet again. Indeed, this is the case. Your Majesty would have grant us a vacation until the survey team begins bring, brings news. That is, that is a great idea. Everyone rests and while in preparation for the coming battle. In that case, all members dismiss. So, this is how you get nothing but free time, I guess. 
All right, I finally have a break. I'm gonna go sleep for days. Nobody can stop me. I'll take advantage of this freedom to... I'm sorry to bother you while you're clearly so excited, but... C Commander Klaus? There is something I'd like to discuss with you. To discuss? You are currently faced with a, length of a lengthy vacation. What was your plan in this free time? Um, I was going to catch up on some sleep. This is... That is unacceptable. Only a fulfilling, only a fulfilling vacation can heighten one's morale. Idling away your free time is sheer folly. I, I do think sleep is important, though. No, now is the perfect chance to go out and strengthen your bonds with your teammates. You are the only conductor there is. Your bonds with the witches will have a major impact. <sighs> Furthermore, the new recruits have, are unfamiliar with the city. I would like to quell their une unease by listening to their stories or taking them out in the town. But I'm not very familiar with Lambert either. <laughs> I figured you would say that. Do not worry, I shall present you with this guidebook. We're just now getting one? This is Mr. X Just Desserts. This book contains information about every single dessert shop in Lambert. Is that all Lambert has to offer are dessert shops? If you ever get lost, I suggest you visit the location listed within. I guarantee it makes a wonderful date. Did the date? We will handle any budgetary needs. I am counting on you, Alto. Oh, great. So much for sleeping. I feel like he just dumped a bunch of random chores on me. Oh well, I'm not even sleepy anymore, so might as well go somewhere. You just we have acquired just desserts. Okay. Again, is it all this town is known for is just desserts. Well then, what should I do now? Free time and nothing but free time. So I guess let's go to the Knights Barrack and see who is there for us to talk to today. We have Lizette and Ewan. However, even though oh, Ewan's only 13, I thought it was like a little bit older than that. Okay. And let's talk to Lizette again. We want to build her affinity up as much as we can. All right, so let's give her a talk to. I'm gonna prioritize the witches first. You talk to Lizette. What should we talk about today? Yeah, nice chat with Lizette. Oh, was that it? Well, hey, we got at least one gem in. You sense a bond forming with, with Lizette? Oh. What's up? What's wrong? N nothing. A chain? Lizette, what are you hiding from me? It appears you are no longer able to speak with Lizette. Oh boy, we got some tuning we gotta do. It's about time, now we get to hear her sing. Oh, great. Uh, oh, we can't talk to Klaus? You cannot increase the affinity right now. Okay, well, that's nice. Okay, so now we have Rusty and Popo. Kind of thinks because Klaus's affinity is almost maxed out. Wow. Uh, I want to talk to... Eh, let's actually start with Rusty. We can come back and talk to Popo later. Uh, you want to talk, 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 would you like to talk to Rusty? Yeah, let's go talk to him. He's seems like a guy I really want to get to know better. So, hey, you talk to Rusty. Hey, Rusty. Are you going somewhere? I've got free time. Who would want to stay all crammed up in here? I can't believe some people just stay in and polish their weapons. Hey, wanna go to the dining hall? I have something I wanna talk about. You've been good so far. Go on, order something. Of course, I'll be having a drink. But I'm alright. What do you wanna talk to me about? <laughs> well, there are some things I can't mention with the ladies around. Anyways, seems to me like you haven't been having much fun these days. Well, why do you say that? That Lizette girl's got you wrapped around her finger, man. I bet you don't even know how to play the city game. What do you mean? I have a bad feeling about this. That makes two of us, Alto. That makes two of us. The day doesn't end at sundown here. There are tons of ways to have fun. The capital's great, but you're just about training, drills, meetings. A man can't thrive like that. You need to get out and learn some. Um, it's not bad to go out, but that's not what I'm here to do. Man, you're way too uptight. I knew I needed to talk to you. Just think of it as fate. It's my job as your elder to guide you. You're only 24. Seriously, come on. Come on, Rusty. What do you really want? Hmm? What I want is for you to learn about some adult fun. The last thing we need is another tidy bald. You know what I mean? So that's it? Wait, 
Adult fun? Mm-hmm. I don't want to have to deal with any more uptight asshats. But you're still young. You don't even know the meaning of going out yet. In which case, I'll just need to teach you. Uh, okay. I guess. This will only lead to horrible shenanigans. Come on. The girls aren't around. Just be straight with me. You're way past puberty. Don't tell me you're not interested. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But I'm getting a really bad feeling about this whole thing. Eh, fine by me. The adult world is full of all sorts of bad. Then it's settled. You'll be my student from now on. You just want to make me do bad things with you, don't you? Do I look that evil? I just want to show you some fun. Ten bucks you were a harbinger at one point. Well, I'll be on my way. No need to hurry. Huh? Where are you going? Meeting up with a lady. Duh. You'll be ready in no time. They won't be able to keep their hands off of you. He has sensed the bond forming of Rusty, but not all not only that, he felt an uneasy feeling about talking to Rusty. I think that's what it should have said as well. Your opinion with Rusty has increased. Rusty's acquired infiltrate. Cool. Rusty's acquired a new ability to ne negate enemy uh, guardian ability. Whatever that does, dodge support. Rusty's acquired a new support effect, increased evasion rate for adjacent allies. Awesome. Alright, so we've got one free time left now. Okay, as I say, we have to actually talk to Nanika and Sakuya? Um, in all honesty, I don't know if I want to actually go and tune Lizette yet, or should I focus more on just free time for right now? Um, hmm. I guess maybe we should talk to um, Sakuya because, you know, like I said, she did she did say something very interesting, mentioning her siblings. Plus, we have two more slots of free time left, and, and um, oh, oh, that's perfect. I'll go and tune Sakuya in the, t not Sakuya, Lizette in the time spot where I was supposed to because we can't in increase her affinity anymore because of the, of the chain-like thing. So, it works out just fine. So, let's, uh, let's talk to Sakuya. We're both about the same age. Interesting. All right. Time will pass, of course. You talk to Sakuya. Sakuya? Are you free right now? Hang on a bit. Let's continue, Nonaka. Next is a wedding announcement with a request for a blessing. Send a congratulatory letter by the end of the day to the happy couple. Yes, understood. I also need you to replenish my supply of beauty lotion. I thought I told you my skin isn't reacting well to the water here. M my apologies. I shall contact the Amatsu merchants immediately. Listen, Nonaka. Shops can go out of business at any time. Stop being so slow. If you forgot about it, then hurry up and get it. Y yes Your Excellency! Also, buy face powder and rouge. And get a catalog for new sashes. Now get going, and don't come back until you've finished everything. Ah, yes, my lady, I shall leave at once! Jeez, why is she so slow to complete her duties? You're sending her around the entire world and back pretty much. Cut her some slack, Sakuya. Hey, Sakuya. Don't you think you're being a little hard on Nonoka? She's been working non-stop since you arrived in the royal capital. It can't be helped. She's the only attendant I have here. You know what needs to be done. Why don't you do some of it yourself? Oh. So you think it's that easy, do you? It probably is. A typical response from an airhead who doesn't know any better. Wh what are you getting all worked up about? Let me make it clear that I haven't quit being the priestess. I still have work to do here, and I'm always under public scrutiny. Besides, it's her job. I don't need her if she's not going to work. It's just, maybe you should give her a break every once in a while. I should, should I? So, you've been watching us every waking moment? Yeah, well, she's got a point there, we haven't. You act like a nice guy, but you're really just a creepy stalker perv. Yep, you're sundaring. Come on, stop twisting my words. You know what I meant. I heard you were living out in the countryside until pretty recently. My work isn't easy, like harvesting the fields once a year, you know. That's a pretty awful thing to say. Why are you in such a bad mood? Because you don't understand. You always just say what you want. Fine, I'll let you have your wish. I'll ease off Nonika a bit. But you're going to pick up her slack and be my manager for a while. Weren't we already doing that in, for the, from the start? Huh? 
be your manager? A parishioner would give his right arm to serve me. You won't be able to handle it, so I'll just let you be a trainee. Hey, hold on. I haven't agreed to any of this. Oh, so you were butting into our business without intending to help? Uh, well, no. I, I wasn't saying that, but... Just, just mention the fact that, hey, Commander Klaus told us to talk to everyone. So you were just trying to tell me off for your own satisfaction, then? I wouldn't expect any less from a guy who thinks he's so important. Okay, okay. But I'm just going to help you with your work. I won't be your slave, and I'll refuse any impossible tasks. Yes, that's perfectly fine. I just need an extra pair of hands. I'll be sure to make you eat your words in a few days. Well, I'll make you eat yours after you see how competent I am. Oh, we'll see about that. Let's get started. I want you to organize these letters by tonight. Yeah, uh, all of these? Hmm. Are you saying that this is too much work for you? <laughs> like I'd ever say that. I'll be sure to finish before dinner. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well then, I suppose I'll burn some calories off while Nona goes away. Yeah. Uh, are these all written in Kana? Uh, d dear priestess. You sense a bond forming with Sakuya, and another sinking feeling in your gut that you have probably signed up for something you weren't intending to. Oh well, we started the bond with, a bond of Sakuya. Your affinity of Sakuya has increased. The Sakuya's acquired sword drawn preemptive strike. Oh, so now we can use preemptive strike. Awesome. Sakuya's acquired new ability may perform a preemptive strike in a SD stance. Sakuya's learning to acquire critical support. Saki has acquired a new support effect, increased critical hit rate for adjacent allies. Awesome sauce. So, let's see, what, what are we going to do now? Free time is now over, as we enter into a new free time. We have a, oh, here we go, new event. So, this is Mr. X Just Desserts. What should I do with it? Oh! That's the newest edition of Mr. X's Just Desserts! Whoa, you're right, this hasn't even been released yet, where'd you get it? For a bland guy, you're always having really interesting. I is this seriously that amazing? It was just given us to my Klaus as a tour guide. Uh, all right, Zen. Why don't the four of us go on a dessert tour? Dessert tour. W what? Dessert tour? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Zen has decided. Got a strike while the iron's hot. Let's get going. I've never seen Saki so excited to go somewhere. I feel for Alto right now. I really do feel for him. Hmm. It smells like someone we know. Someone we know? A tranquil afternoon, a beautiful cityscape, and the finest sweets. Hmm. The cheese souffle here is truly exceptional. As soothingly sour as an autumn sky, then sweet as an angel's feathers. <laughs> what a perfect way to spend my day off. <laughs> Commander Klaus? Alto, your reaction was pretty much my reaction! Klaus? Uh, Alto, and the witches. It appears you have been using the guidebook I gave you. Well, yeah, but more importantly, why do you have so much cake? Are you here on a date? Cheese souffle, chestnut tarts, raspberry trifle, brownies. That's what Mr. X likes. The commander must be a fan like us. Oh no. Klaus is Mr. X, isn't he? Hmm. So you ladies are familiar with my work. Y your work? Uh, uh, sorry to intrude, but I am a big fan. Can you sign this for me? Ah, oh, but of course. What? <laughs> Klaus is Mr. X. Okay. On the 
that cover then? That book. Mr. X is just desserts? What? I am just as confused as you are. What's going on here? There we go. Is that okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't wait for even more dessert reviews in the sequel. Mr. X. Huh? Huh? What? Were you guys that dense? I put two and two together and I was like, what? Now, now, dessert time is an essential moment of, of relaxation. Please, do not raise your voices. You must not disturb the other customers. I, I know, but... The, the, the commander? He was Mr. X all along? Considering my rank, it'd be foolish for me to openly pursue my writing interests. Therefore, I use Mr. X as a, pseudo a pseudonym. So, so the thousands of shops that are reviewed in that book? Famous shops which I have personally visit visited and sampled. Ah, because as your position as commander, you can travel across the entire world, so why not? Well, wow, you're amazing, commander! I'm only- I'm only good at eating desserts! But you're right- you, you've written all those incredible reviews! I really respected that! <laughs> it's nothing special, I am simply a lover of all things sweet, just as you are. The only difference is that I take notes of my precious culinary experiences. T to think the book I was all excited about was written by this presumptuous blondie! I feel so defeated. Sakia, get a hold of yourself. Your eyes are going blank. Oh, wait. Sign my copy. Sign my copy. I'd appreciate your signature as well. I feel somewhat embarrassed. But as, sweet as, but as a sweets enthusiast, I shall comply with your demands. Also, would you like one too? Uh, very much so. Why not? <laughs> yes, very much so. It will be my pleasure. Your skill is not only the sword, but also the pen, Commander. You're amazing. <laughs> Stop that, you're making me blush. Here you are. I've finished signing all of your copies. Thank you so much, Mr. X. I feel so lucky. The cheese souffle is exceptionally tasty today. I recommend you all have one. But I'm already... Waiter, please bring another four portions of everything I ordered. Of course, right away, Mr. X. Everything? You want us to finish all that? Now, now, no need to hesitate. Eat however much you please. Okay! Yummy, yummy, yummy! Well, there is no crime in eating. Let's join Let's join them, Alto. Ugh. You guys can have mine for all I care at this point. What a huge twist! I was not expecting that at all. My reaction is that- you should, I wish I had- you guys saw my face reaction to that. Oh well, we enter to another free time. So, I honestly think they'll probably do it for this episode. Well, then what should I do now? So, next time on Let's Play Stella Glow, we'll be going forward off and doing even more free time events. And the first thing we'll be doing is going in tuning Lizette and seeing what's wrong with her. Why is she responding to us so negatively? If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to check the other parts in this series. And let me know what you guys from the series so far down in the comment section below. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.